So it seems like Amazon has added a new product to the Echo line, or should I say replace one? <music> Greetings to all and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you won't miss a beat. So today I want to talk about Amazon new product. It's called the Echo Show 5. Not long ago, late last year, they released that Echo Show second generation. So I don't know where the 5 comes from in this one. Maybe the 5 comes from the size of the screen because the size of this screen is actually 5.5 inches. So that's my own speculation where the number 5 came from. Now with this Echo Show 5, it seems like they're going for the lower cost virtual assistant or should I say voice assistant that has screen built in. There's one by Lovono, there's one by Google and some other manufacturers that produce those screen with the voice assistant built in. Amazon themselves has the Echo Spot, which falls into that category too. Now what's interesting about the Echo Show 5 is the fact that it's lower cost than even the Echo Spot. It's coming in at $89.99. And you know, I never could figure out why they don't round everything off to that solid dollar. Everything is 99 cents, 95 cents. Anyway, let's get back to the topic. So like I was saying, with the Echo Show 5 coming in at that low price, you have to make a decision. Do you want to get this or would you want to get the spot? Now, is Amazon trying to kill the spot off? Because they definitely got rid of that first generation Echo Show by replacing with the second generation. But now it's looking like they're trying to get rid of the spot. Now, the spot got this little round screen. It's all neat and all and it fits there right on your nightstand. But now the Echo Show 5 is looking to replace that too and i just can't see a consumer going for the spot when this pretty much has all the stuff that the spot has and it has a bigger screen because initially i looked at the spot like a neat little nightstand type of thing you know right there by your bed you can use it to wake you up but now i can see that echo show 5 right there on my nightstand when i roll over want to see the time or just want to check the weather or something like that and I can see an actual screen. So I'm really thinking about putting this one in my shopping cart. So Amazon, of course, has put a front facing camera on there so you can do that video chat. And with all the privacy concern these days, you know, we wanna know that we can protect your privacy. So Amazon has included a slider switch where you can actually close the camera off. So like I said, all the features are there, even though the price is lowered, cause you can still access your Amazon skills if you got those enabled on your account. So it's amazing that Amazon is able to bring this thing at this low cost and still keep all the features of the bigger Echo Show. Okay, let's now talk about the technical specs of this device. So looking dead at it, of course, like I said, it has a 5.5 inch screen. It has a front facing camera. On top, you have a camera shutter button that actually turns the shutter on and off. And then you got a volume up a volume down, you got two mics, you got a mic and camera button to turn the mic and the camera on and off, you got a power port and a 3.5 millimeter audio output jack. Now if we compare this new Echo Show 5 to the Echo Show, which is the second generation, you can see how they're able to bring this cost down. First off, you're not getting that 10.1 inch screen that has that higher resolution. And the speakers on this thing only has one speaker at four watts, while the Echo Show has two speakers at 10 watts each. It has a passive radiator and it has that Dolby processing going on for it. The camera on the Echo Show 5 is only one megapixel, while on the Echo Show is five megapixel. Both of those are kind of low in my eyes. I think it should at least be five on the Echo Show 5 and at least eight on the Echo Show. And the final difference on these two devices is the fact that the Echo Show has a built-in hub while the Echo Show 5 doesn't. And the very final comparison between these two devices is the actual price. The Echo Show 5, like I said, is coming in at $89.99 while the Echo Show is clocking in at $229.99. So you can easily get two of those Echo Show 5 for the cost of the Echo Show itself. So there you have it. That's a rundown on the new Echo Show 5. It lets you connect to people. It has privacy features built in. You can control all your smart home devices. You got access to all the Amazon skills that's available right now. It's small enough to fit in small places like right there on your nightstand. 
and it starts at a very low cost compared to the Echo Show that is. And I can see Amazon putting these things on sale for $49.99 somewhere in the future or maybe a little bit higher, maybe $59.99. But I can see they're dropping the price on this thing to really move them. It's coming out on June 26, 2019. So you can place your order now and have it arrive on the day that it's supposed to be released. And you have two choices of color that you can get it in. It comes in the charcoal and it comes in the sandstone. So you got a choice of one of those two colors to easily match your decor. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. If you were thinking about getting the Echo Spot, I think this is gonna change your mind right now because I believe that Amazon is probably gonna kill off the Echo Spot because this is falling in a more comfortable spot right now as far as the price compared to the 129 of the Echo Spot. You know, at one point I thought about getting that Echo Spot. Something about the round screen wasn't actually gelling with me, so I kind of hesitated. And I'm glad I did because now that they come out with this Echo Show 5, this is perfect. It'll fit right down my nightstand just like the Echo Spot would. So I'm going to get one of these, put it through its test, give you my feedback of how much I like it or not. Okay, so that's it for this video. I want to thank you for taking the time for watching it. If you like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one.